So I am. Uh, I'm so stupid. I was screwing with Open Broadcaster the other day, and let me move my mic a little closer to my face. <laughs> I was screwing with Open Broadcaster, and I accidentally turned off my mic at some point, and so my voice wasn't recorded through this entire thing. So I'm adding narration in post. I have such a headache now. Almost an hour's worth of stuff. Seriously. So I'm gonna just watch the entire thing and explain my thoughts. Just explain the things I'm doing here. So, yeah, just gonna exhaust this person's dialogue, I guess. Are you from these parts? My name is Lysia. I have come to spread the art of miracles, a practice of which I am a disciple. I can see that you are well suited to comprehend their wondrous power. But the cost of it, that's for your heart to decide. The ring prices faith by five, and she sells a bunch of miracles, yada yada, that's about it. Why you would really consider talking to her no the is the fact that she yes. opens a path to get further in the game later. I'm a little angry at myself. The king, gone. The earth, An hour. Ravaged. The burden Not a full hour, just heavy. 48 minutes or so. I fear that by now they may have I've cut it down so much. Why did I come here? Well... Do I need any other reason than to spread the gospel of miracles? My preceptor always said this art should be shared with the world. And yeah, I've always got to screw something up. English. Always. Sometimes I fight the urge to pack up and go back home. It is wow, I did not realize how long it took this person to shut up. I must do this. And being out here all alone only makes this a more fitting test of my fortitude. And a coffee, goddamn. I expected this cathedral to be bustling, but there's hardly a soul to be found here. Without any goings on. Yeah, 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 hardly a soul. <laughs> To a place I could go. Sorry, help the gullible by teaching the good word. <laughs> no need for miracles. The gods frown. so stupid. I am really, really stupid. Finally got my open broadcaster working and I end up screwing everything up every time I do something. Oh, this game wanted to screw me over so much, this was going to be a terrible video anyway. <coughs> yep, Art of Dark Souls combat, just strafe around them. Until you can attack. And one more time. That's all it takes with a mace at plus one. It's amazing. <coughs> oh yeah, 
left is absolutely pointless. Never go left. It's just gonna waste time. And an elevator. Stupid and forgot that the gate was already open. <laughs> I'm somewhat annoyed myself, as so I've said. And I actually made some good jokes. Actually, sounded confident for once. Yeah, that freaking worked out well, didn't it? Here I'm saying you go that direction, but went up here for a set of knight's armor. So yeah, two videos in a row I did something wrong, and I'm just showing off the armor here. I'm saying it's lighter, but more poise than the set I currently have, but I kept that set on for a while. Demonstrating how when you have 50% and higher, your roll becomes crap. Ah, oh, God. I, I always screw all this stuff up. I, I really do. I have a tendency to screw up. I'll be the first one to admit that. Just run through all that. Light the bonfire, talk to that woman. What is it? I don't know you, and you don't know me. She has so a bit of dialogue, so I'll stop my narration here and cut all that out. And I'm back, like, 30 seconds after I left the bonfire, killed one guy, and now I'm demonstrating that. This is what I mean by Dark Souls. Didn't even like me today. I was kind of angry, so, yeah, still am. Loading screens are the best part of this game, honestly. If you can't sense the sarcasm, then... Then you're probably stupid. Anyway. I'm sorry, that was mean. I'm just very agitated right now. Got to run back up here. Grab the light crossbow, and that failed. After I roll around for no reason. So yeah, bows, crossbows, all have a range. Crossbows tend to be shorter than bows. For a reason I don't know. I really, really don't. But... Three shots with fire arrows from that distance. Again, miss with the mace for no reason. Grab my soul so I don't lose them.
make sure it's in here. And at one point, I've already cut this out prior to recording the narration. <coughs> ah. Well, coughing, that's always fun. Anyway, I already cut out the part where I went back to Majula to get something. So, yeah. You know, Pharaoh's lockstone for this area. The word needs a little strong, but they're useful. Quickly realizing how boring this is without any sound. Because while I'm recording narration, it doesn't play the game's sound. So I hear nothing. I don't hear that roll. I didn't hear me hitting those guys. Didn't hear me picking that up. Ah, man. Up these stairs and turn right. And once again, miss for no reason, but yeah. Probably just made a really loud noise with my mic there. Oh wait, something funny that actually happened is about to happen, because I just got hit by an oil bomb. It does no damage, but if you don't wait for it to just drain off and get hit by some fire arrow or something, you burst into flames. And went up there for no reason. Maybe went back up to check if there was a hidden illusionary wall. Yeah, there wasn't. It's three in the afternoon when I'm doing this, but it's a Sunday. And, and yep, there we go. Yeah, uh, fire bad. <laughs> and the reason why I lit that torch is because these things heat light. Also, hit them with the torch planning on it doing extra damage, but clearly it didn't. Anyway, these guys have a lot of health. Annoyingly so. More often than not, as long as you have a torch out or some light around you, there you won't be attacked by these guys. They do have a rage mode, which Rage mode isn't exactly the right term. They do get really angry and not care about the light. As will be set as an example right about... about five seconds from now. Yeah, that. And now he doesn't give a damn. I'm dumb. I try to deal with multiple problems at once in this game, which is a death wish. But it seems to work out for me pretty well. Who are you? I, Gavlan. And now for the only merchant in which you can actually sell Gavlan stuff to, Gavlan. Gavlan deal. He also sells some decent rings and a Gavlan lot of poison items. Soul. Many, many Selling things to him, it's not worth it. You get, like, nothing, and most of the items in this game are actually, um... What's it called? What? Unique. You can only get one of each. With Gavlan, you will... You deal. <laughs> yeah, just opened this door rather loudly. Someone's probably gonna knock on my door ask what the heck I'm doing. Then they'll roll their eyes because. I don't know. Because.
because I'm doing this. Why I fumbled with my controller there, I don't know. But. Trap ahead. Normally this is poison, I believe, but I guess they're not always the same thing. I blocked that by the skin of my teeth. Anyway, I also got the great sword, which is an amazing strength weapon, which I'm not going to use. Made the larger of my runs with this thing. It's an amazing weapon, but it's slow, as presented here. It takes a lot of stamina. But get that thing to plus 10, you're doing massive amounts of damage. What I am going to do is grab a sword similar to this one, which is called the Zweihander. Which I'll find later. But yeah, this thing is heavy. It's one of the heaviest weapons in this game. You know, maybe I'll use the giant club, actually. I'll probably do that, it's a bit faster. I'm gonna end this episode here, save everything, and... Well, right after this fight, actually. I'm stupid and walk past that guy. So. Yeah, right after this fight, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna upload it. And the next couple of parts are pretty much gonna be this. Just me talking over it. So yeah, that brings that boat over here. So yeah. So 